It is Thursday around 7 o'clock. Had a long day today. I look all gray and I was on the spray or painting inside a house. I guess I'm a house painter. Uh, kind of disheartening, but you know, you add it to the resume, I suppose. I can paint a house. Anyway, we're going to do a bike quiver tour with the new recent exciting addition. Oh, so we'll start with my old GT. I call it the old because it is old. Uh, v brake, high tech, steel chromoly. Put a lot of miles on this thing. This is the old Scott. What is this thing called? Gambler. Gambler. This used to be. So this bike used to be our uh, team bike or whatever for trail building crew at Alieska. We had this given to us to help test the trails. And then my wife ended up buying it for like 500 bucks a couple years later, I guess. It's half decent. It's got like nine inch travel in the back. Uh, I don't know. It's probably six in the front. But this thing rides pretty good. It actually rides way bigger than. Well, it's pretty burly rear end. I don't know why I used to think this thing was like an enduro bike, but it's pretty freaking burly. Uh, this is my steel framed Surly. Got this for a hundred bucks. It's pretty sweet. Uh, it's heavy as heck. It likes to throw the chain because this thing's a single speed and I don't have a clutch derailleur. So it's kind of a pain on at times if you're trying to race pace anything but it, it'll it'll get you there if you go slow over to the Jameis road bike this thing's carbon fiber weighs nothing got it for like 600 bucks craigslist a couple years ago i did a couple iron man distance triathlons on it that's what i got it for uh it's fast and comfy Older. I made this out of aluminum, it's kind of cool. And our most recent addition, oddly enough, is another Jameis carbon fiber 29er. Got this bad boy. Uh, I looked on Craigslist and it said it'd been sitting there for a month. I was like, there's no way this thing's still here for 1400 bucks. And I called the dude or whatever, texted him, boom, he had it. And it turns out I knew him and oh my god, I was like, I have to buy this now. And it matches my other Jameis, so now I'm a Jameis person of some sort. Oh, this rear end, it's like a 111. No, it's a 110. So I think I'm caught up to like at least the 21st century. Um, oh, I skipped the bike. How could I have done this? How did I go right past this thing? This monster. The Carpiel Armageddon. It's got a foot of travel in the rear, seven or eight in the front on this old shivers. This thing is probably, well, it's pretty heavy steel. It's probably the dampest ride on the mountain. It just like sucks right in there. You pretty much manual through anything. So I got four bikes now. So the topper, I just got, and I haven't even ridden this new 29er yet. And I'm going to do that now. As I was checking Strava segments, I see one that I had last year for a year now. It had just gone down like two hours ago. Whew. So some dude took it short, super short. I, my time was like 256, but it's a steep climb, short and steep. And I beat the other dude last year on my old Goldie, steel piece of shit. This one should be faster. Dude beat me by 26 seconds, I don't know, three hours ago. So now roll ride. Strava KOM recrowning re event, hopefully. Mark set, go. Ready to rumble, Bobo? Just getting up and climbing, it feels like the wheel's nice, kind of under you, doesn't kick off so bad, I guess, on the loose gravel on the climb. Uh, these are kind of fast tires, they might not be the grippiest. And then my seat, I need to figure out how to tip it forward, so it feels like I'm sliding off the back as I'm sitting on it on the uphills. So 
So yeah, we're getting up here to this little quick climb and then we're gonna come back and hit this flow trail. See how fast Bobo can go. I can't believe how nice it is out here. It's like summer's kinda here. It's not, I can see my breath this morning though, so it's not really warm. Nice and cool. KOM crushing weather. So this is short and sweet. It starts right here. Uh, I'm trying to get 2.30, I think. Uh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be short and, short and painful. Ready, Bobo? Oh, yeah, you gotta have your excuses lined out, though, in this sort of thing. Uh, today's excuse was I did kind of a hard Zwift ride last night, and then I was painting a house all day. It kind of took it out of me more emotionally than anything. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Whoa, shit. Oh yeah. That was that was a bit much. What was unfazed? Yeah, that lower section. Previously, I couldn't get up it on my other bike, and then so I was able to ride it on this top bit. Didn't even try. Wow. And then that downhill, it's the first in those turns. Holy shit, what's this thing doing? Oh wow, that's crazy. I'm getting too old for this. Cool. Now we're gonna lower the seat and flow trail our way out of here. We got a jump, cliff, to a berm. Bobo, what's the line down there? That look good? <laughs> you gotta look out. You're gonna get ran over. Go. Watch out. Go, you Go. Go, 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 go.
Go, go, go. Oops, training log uploaded, evening ride. So we got Oh. So Ernigan climb. Wow. 318. So not even where the hell do I go here? Damn, so I was my previous PR's 256. 318 put me down here. So did not get it on the climb, which makes sense. Never had my excuse laid out already. 